my guys. Who here is hitting the club tonight? I am definitely not, but if you are, here's what your nightlife persona says about you. Number one, the wannabe bouncer. This is the dude that's kissing the bouncer's ass for the entirety of the night. There's a few things that could be going on here. Number one, he's underage. Two, he failed the police academy and is looking for some type of authority. Or number three, which is most likely it, the Napoleon complex, the wanderer. You came here with your group of friends, but you're definitely not leaving with them. You just want to see where the night takes you. Chances are you're definitely waking up in a dirty bed in the morning. Gross. The DD. Shockingly, that's actually me. You're not afraid to have your car puked in, and at this point you're like an honorary EMT. You're also probably the least fun of the group, but at least you'll have your life together before all of your nitwit friends. The kangaroo. Remember those middle school dances where it was just a swarm of teenagers jumping up and down? Yeah, you never left that phase. Definitely not leaving with a lady tonight. The exchange student. Definitely has a 99% success rate of securing a female's number, but he's here for a good time. Not a long time. The couple that's about to break up. Don't be this guy. And if you are this guy, break up ASAP before you wind up with a drink thrown on your shirt. What's up, my guys? We need to have a serious discussion today. I know what they say, looks aren't everything. Yeah, right. They totally are. Listen, you need to elevate your looks or she's just not gonna want to date you. Today we're discussing things only hot guys do. Number one, wear fitted t-shirts. Dad bod or not, it's the effort that matters. Backing in your car with one hand, whew, uses audio messages more than texting. You're confident in what you're saying. And you've also just increased your chances of securing the date, alpha. Flossing, a lot of men don't do it. That broccoli stuck in your teeth, it's never sexy. Have a skincare routine. Y'all are about to be aging like the chocolate lady and spongebob in a few years if you don't start doing this asap this is why i've teamed up with t shanley once again to bring you the best men's skincare routine all you have to do is order this awesome box that has everything you need and this instruction card that they include comes in super clutch if you use the link here or link in my bio you'll get 30 percent off your first box plus a free gift it's literally a no-brainer to give it a try dry clean their clothes have you ever seen an unattractive dude at the dry cleaners because i haven't put their card in the check without even looking priceless. Wear pants that hug you in all the right places. You get my drift. Rub my back without expecting a back rub in return. Husband material. Making your home modern and beautiful is easier than you think with 5050 RGB SMD strip lights. Bright, uniform, ambient lighting for anywhere in your room. Use exactly the length you need thanks to the cuttable design. Waterproof properties and the use of double copper make them durable and long-lasting in all conditions. Change the colors, effects, and brightness of the lights thanks to the wireless remote or the app on your phone. Change the look of your home. Order now. Make What's up, my guys? So I'm sure if you watch my videos, you're most likely single. Well, I'm here to educate you and let you know that there's a difference between a girl wanting you and wanting you. Here's some easy ways to tell that it's the latter. She's wearing perfume. There is some serious planning going on here, my guys. She came to your area within a close proximity of your house for the date. It's game on. Weird one, but she tells you personal stories about herself. A lot of girls need to feel the emotional connection before the physical one. She tells you how wild she is. She's just poking the bear. She wants to go out with you in public in her area. Big one. She wants to see you in the daylight. Let me tell you, you really have to be committed if you want to see a dude in the daylight. It's basically marriage at that point. And lastly, her voice gets higher. What's up, my guys? You might want to listen up because this is some life-changing advice you're about to hear. These are the top red flags in a girl, part two. Fortunately, I could say I'm not this girl, except for the last one. Number one, she has these signs everywhere. I just want to give you a fair warning that if you're about to marry this girl, you're going to be assuming a shitload of TJ Maxx credit card debt. She's also going to be in Nashville like every other weekend for yet another friend's bachelorette party. And let's not forget, she's probably a boss, babe. Hashtag multi-level marketing. Number two, she has some hesitations about your relationship because of your astrological compatibility. She recently got out of a relationship. Look, girls have rebounds too. They may just not recognize it in the moment. Seeking male validation. I get it, sometimes confidence is a struggle, but she shouldn't be seeking validation from those other than her boyfriend. A Taylor Swift obsession. 
Taylor Swift is cool and all, but an unhealthy obsession with Taylor Swift means you'll be receiving daily Taylor Swift quotes like they're the equivalent of a Bible verse. She pretends to be dumber than she is. It's just not a cute look. She makes you pick between her and your family and friends. Manipulative. And lastly, drinking beer. Fuck. What's up, my guys? So you're hoping to get lucky tonight, aren't you? Well, I hope it works out for you. But in case you need a manual, here's how to instantly kill the mood. Mommy. Mommy anything. Using the term making love. Ugh. Listen, I'm not trying to create world peace in this engagement we're having, okay? Bright lights. I don't want to see my bad decisions. Hickeys. This region right here? We're too old for that. You're trashy. Weird music. It's so cringe. Crushing me with your body weight. Listen, I'm not trying to be unconscious by the end of this, my guy. Can I kiss you? Fuck no. Too much talking. It's kind of like when you're getting a pedicure and they won't shut the fuck up. If you don't have a way with words, just don't use them. Bad hygiene. Listen, girls go through a 90-step routine to prepare for this moment and you couldn't pull out a bar of soap lasting two minutes i have a question can't you just switch it up and take a break for a second i'm sure there's some sort of way to compromise here right ignoring me afterwards like what the fuck is that What's up, my guys? So I get this one a lot. You set up a date with her for this weekend and she flakes on you an hour before. Or you've been dating for a bit, and everything's great. I mean, too great. And then that thing happens. You log on to Instagram and there she is, back with her ex. Here are the top signs, you're a rebound. Tons of bedroom activities. And it's all happening very quickly. She's like a raccoon with rabies. From her perspective, her ex is literally the worst person to walk the face of the earth. She is bitter. And the way it ended, let's just say it was a shock to her. A bigger shock than that missed period a few weeks ago. The breakup was recent. I don't want to hear the excuses. I don't care how much she claims to be over him. You're a rebound. No one in her life knows of your existence. You're like Monica Lewinsky. You want to know why she's doing this? Because she knows you're a rebound and she's not ready to hear from those around her. She constantly has to assure you that she's over him. Is she reassuring you or herself at this point? Extreme mood swings. Okay, crazy. She takes things very seriously, but at the same time is emotionally unavailable. Here's one question to ask yourself at the end of the day. What would she do if her ex walked in right now? What's up, my guys? I have a question for you. Why won't you tell her you like her? You know that girl you've had a crush on for like a year? I know you're probably all like, I don't know how. Well, it's time to man up, grow a pair, and tell this girl before you see her walking hand in hand with a new guy and regretting you never said anything. Here's some tips. Stop being a friend. Don't say she looks nice today. Don't say her hair looks nice. And don't tell her that's a nice dress. Her hair looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous today and that dress looks beautiful with her eyes my favorite line for telling somebody i just can't keep pretending that i don't like you it takes the awkward i like you line out and just seems a lot less stressful and way easier to execute but prepare for her to need time to think about things even though you've been waiting for this moment and thought it over a million times you have to realize she hasn't plant the seed in your head that you have to do it by the end of the month setting personal goals may give us the push that we need